Hello? No. Am I in focus? Right, so, today, um, this video is going to be episode one of a series I'm going to do all about design, the fundamentals of design, how to make money with design, but it's going to be realistic. Um, not knocking on any other channel, but um, is this focused on me? Great success. Yeah, this is going to be based on realistic stuff. I'm not saying other people aren't realistic, but um, I remember looking for this sort of stuff about five years ago when I was first getting into design and freelanced and actually like going from just studying to actually like making money out of this and um, turn it into a career. And I remember a lot of the stuff was American, um, which didn't translate too well unrealistic or just it sounded correct but in the real world it just didn't work so what I'm going to do I'm going to be realistic and I'm going to tell you what actually works and what actually doesn't work so I digress I have no idea what the series is going to be called I do not have my microphone which I always have but I don't have it but I said I was going to make these YouTube videos at least twice a month so I'm sticking to it because I've got a free hour and I'm going to do it. Okay. Okay. So, episode one, what I'm going to discuss is how to get your first client. So you might have been in graphic design for a few years and you're ready to make the leap. You feel confident in your vector age, in your AI age. You've stopped making logos in Photoshop. That's always a good start. And you're like, right, I am going to make some money out of this. And now I remember being in this situation towards the end of my first year of university going into my second year and that's when I started to get a bit of confidence. I was hearing murmurs of me, a few of my friends uh, making money. Two seconds. Okay, I just had to do something so the light wouldn't come off, wouldn't turn off. Right, so yeah, I remember I was going in, just going into second year of university when I got my first client. However, I had been thinking about it a little bit before that. Uh, and I tried out a few different things and a lot of it didn't work and it ended up happening by luck But then from that look I learned from it repeated it and I built up a pretty good client base Basically when you get a client you need to build up their trust because they're not only trusting you with money But their business or their projects or whatever it is so the ways to build up that trust um, one way could be having a huge portfolio of work in which you have done for other people. Work leads to work. However, if you're just starting off, you will not have that portfolio. You might have little bits from university projects which are highly unrealistic to usually uh, when it comes to industry stuff. So you're probably not going to have a lot. You might have a logo or two, but you don't have enough for a portfolio. Step number two, you do not have any real qualifications yet because if you're in university, college, you don't have that thing to stamp and say, look, I'm a professionalist, I have my bachelor's degree, I have a some other degree, I don't know, but yeah. You don't really have that. But you know you're confident in your skills and you think, I can work with a client here. I can do it maybe cheaper than other people, but it'll level out. Uh, because of my lack of experience. So then, number three, I believe that is, or number C, whatever, okay. Repeat business. So unless you've had your first client, you're not gonna get more clients because the number one key to getting business is repeat business. In design, if someone likes you, likes your work, likes your turnaround time, likes your prices, they will keep coming back to you. And not only will they do that, they will recommend their friends to you. And you can do all the advertising campaigns in the what you want in the world. You can have the nicest Instagram, the nicest website. People talk and people trust people. They listen to other people's opinions. So you don't have any of that, okay? And that's fine. It's fine. Uh, we all have to start somewhere, okay? Is it focused? So what you're gonna need is you're gonna need someone who you've already got established trust with. And the best place to find that is not on your Instagram. It's not like I'm talking about your design Instagram here. Because a lot of graph designers have the separate Instagrams. And I remember thinking, oh, I'm gonna make that great. And then that'll lead to loads of work. Because that's what them other YouTube videos told us. They were like, yeah, get your, get your Instagram looking great. Get your call to action. Put in your bio exactly what you do. Set up a nice website. Boom, you'll get the work. And I was like, this does not work because no one knows us. My SEO isn't there. So you're not going to get anything off Google. 
and uh, there's a million one design Instagrams out there, what you need is you need someone who you've already got a relationship with. And the best place for that, I hate to say it because it's the worst social media in the world and I don't even use it, but I did then. Facebook. Facebook, you have got friends who you have known for 10 years, 20 years, 30, I don't know how old you are, probably 10 years, but. And a lot of them are businesses and a lot of them tradesmen, plumbers, your joiners, electricians, your roofers, and then you've got the other sectors, like you've got butchers, you've got window fitters, you've got all these things. And a lot of people, especially in the UK, they've got friends who have these businesses. So what you wanna do is when you have got friends who have these little businesses, message them because they don't even know that they'll need a logo half the time. They think they've got a business name. Uh, my wife's or lass has just typed it out on Microsoft Word, changed the font, boom, putting that on my van, sticking it up, we'll go to the moon, no, talk with them, people that you know, you'll all have them on your Facebook friends list, right, you want to contact them, and you want to say like, look, I'm doing graphic design at uni, or I've just started doing graphic design, say like, have you ever thought about having a logo for your business, um, and just be like, look, I'm going to do pretty cheap, and I'll do you a good job, because I've probably got a lot of time on my hands, um, between like, uni, or if you're just freelanced and you're quite young, like if you're 16, 17, you probably don't have a lot of overheads. So you could probably charge a hundred pound for a logo, but you could probably afford to spend three days on it. You know what I mean? Whereas now you would want to spend 300 pound on a logo and it would, you'd want it done the day. You know what I mean? When you're all there. But you can afford to do it for cheaper because time is on your side. So message them, discuss with them, ask them, do you need a logo? Do you need a leaflet? Do you need business cards? Because then you can make money off the markup because you could then send it to the printers for them, add a little markup onto it, and then you're making money off the business cards, the leaflets as well. People don't know what they don't know unless you tell them. They don't know they need 500 business cards, but because you've suggested it, they do need it now. And they'll want it because everyone likes to see their name on a piece of paper, right? Piece of card, whatever, 400 GSL. Whatever. That is how you should get your first client, in my opinion. Don't look at the website, don't look at your Instagram. Just think small, you're just starting out. What you want to do is get 10 of them and then you've got a portfolio of 10 beautiful logos or brochures or whatever it is. It's usually just logos. That's what a lot of graphic designers start off with the branding. Get them beautiful logos and then you can build up your Instagram, your website, and then try and get these work from, say, like Google searches and people come across your Instagram because you look established. But before you do that, you need the trust. And the only way you're gonna get it is through people who you have known for years. Friends of friends, people you went to school with, your brother's friends, your mom's friends. All these people have businesses. And you can just message them on Facebook and it's not weird. Just message them and just say, do you, do you need a logo for your business? And just explain them why they should have one. So you like stand out from your competitors. Um, so yeah. Um, that is my realistic approach to getting your first client. Um, I could tell you to go and build a website, do all this stuff, but realistically, unless you've got the trust built with someone, the foundation, also your payment is a lot more certain because if you know them in real life, they're less likely to, or well, you're less likely to need a contract and all that stuff because that scares them. Anyway, this has went on for ages. I've rambled. I'm so sorry if I... Oh, I could have made this a five minute video and it's 12 minutes. But I hope I've got my point across. I hope this helps you. I will be bringing out videos like this a few a month at least. I've got tons of them written out what I'm gonna do. So if you're a graphic designer just starting out or if you're not, if you're pretty into it and you still want a little bit of advice here and there, but I am here to help out the small people, the small guys just starting out. <laughs> the small guys. No, but like the people just starting out, I want to give you a serious direction that works um, and not give you unrealistic things. Don't, I'm not saying your first logo charge 10 grand, okay? Because it just doesn't work like that, you know? I'm saying charge 100 quid, <laughs> 100 pound, like, you know what I mean? Give them a few options. You've got the time because you're usually quite young because you're just starting out. So, yes, get the work, don't get greedy. Um, and yeah, just do this several times, several times, several times, and you will get a beautiful bank of beautiful portfolio, and you will get your first client will lead to your second client, will lead to your third client, because word of mouth spreads, and if you do a good job with one, they will tell another. And 
creates the snowball effect. So yeah, guys, I hope this was okay. Um, I'll be definitely doing more of them. So subscribe for the next one. Okay, bye. I can see the light